he's using a race card. You know, what he's trying to do is, uh, you know, he's doing this because I'm black. This is the part that's very confusing. He's a guy that p- paints himself as a conservative Republican who doesn't like when the left uses their race to act as a victim, but that's exactly what you just did. Did he listen to Tuesday's show? And have you all been listening to this show? This whole thing, Jason paints himself as a conservative Republican. When? Did I not say on Tuesday? Conservative. We put out a social media clip. It's on my Twitter feed with me quoted as saying, being a conservative is completely irrelevant. Conservatives won't save you. The entire message of this show for two straight years, politics is not the problem. Politics will not save you. I said it on Tuesday. We put out clips pointing to that. When I was explaining to him, I was like, Patrick Beck David considers himself some sort of conservative or lightweight conservative. And I was like, conservatives won't save you. They're just as dishonest, just as corrupt. Being a conservative doesn't stop you from lying. I said they're playing for the wrong C team. Play for Christ. As best I can tell, Patrick Beck David doesn't have any Christian religious values, at least in his dealings with me and in his rebuttal. But the entire point of this show has been repeatedly, the Republican Party and conservatives won't save you. I've never, I've told you and been honest on this show, I've never voted. These are lies and obvious distortions. All these little tiny lies all add up to a big lie. This is what a used car salesman does. As it relates to the race car, if any of you out there, if, if, that's the, if that's the perception of me or, because again, I'm just a Christian, don't put that conservative Republican thing on me. Don't do it. But if you are a conservative Christian or if you have this vision of black people that consider themselves conservative Republicans and your expectation is, oh, black conservative Republican, thinks there's no racism. That's not true for one, but as it relates to me, are you listening to this show? Are you, do do you comprehend, this guy keeps saying he likes me, my voice is necessary, he's followed my work. Have you listened to my message? I know racism exists. I know that I've experienced it. I know that racism is not bigger than Christ. I know that racism doesn't stop me from achieving in this country. I think all these people running around, oh, racism, I can't make it in America. I think that's BS. I've experienced it. You can still make it in this country. Racism is just a form of unfairness, and you're going to experience unfairness in this world. And if you don't have Christ on your side, you're going to fold from unfairness. And you're going to oh, oh, you're going to fall into a victimhood and I can't make it. I've experienced unfairness. Patrick Fraud David is an idiot. He's painting himself as smart, but anybody with a brain knows my message. I am not in denial of racial bias. It flows all directions. Black people racist to white people, white people racist to black people. It flows all directions. In America, the way it used to be, you could overcome it. In in any place in the planet, you put Jesus on your team and you can overcome it. That's my message. I'm not in denial. I talk about, and see, Patrick McDavid, nobody complains when I say, and I've said it many times on this show, these white liberals and their their little low expectations and all their little solutions, I call them racist all the time. They don't like black people. They started the KKK. They want black people to obey them and see them as God. 
They're racist. I do it all the time. Patrick Bet David just doesn't like it. When I say, no, nah, man, this, this, this BS you're doing smells racist to me because you wouldn't do it to Jordan Peterson. You wouldn't do it to Dave Rubin. You wouldn't do it to Ben Shapiro. You, you did it to some dude named Coach Greg Adams. I went and looked up the video because people kept emailing me like, oh, they pulled the same stunt with Coach Greg Adams. And guess what? He's a black dude. But, but again, a used car salesman like you, you'll be unfair to anybody. But it smelled racist to me because, oh, let me throw this Negro some, some, some money. Let me set up a bout between Jason Whitlock and Roland Martin, and let's have these two Negroes wrestle for our entertainment. And you didn't even tell Roland Martin what you were doing, according to Roland Martin. <laughs>